What's going on Zuki fam? My name is Zach Taylor and today we're going to be going over how to adjust your 44 millimeter Screaming Eagle carburetor kit for a 1.3 liter Suzuki Samurai. Let's go get into it. Okay, so here's my 1987 Suzuki Samurai. Got the 1.3 liter engine right here, long block from low range. I've got the 44 millimeter Screaming Eagle upgrade kit here from low range. And this thing came all assembled, ready to go. So I just had to bolt it on and go. So a couple things I had to go through here. One, I had to block all my vacuum lines from the original carburetor, okay? So there's a lot there. They give you all these little nodes or these little plastic nodes to cover everything. So don't worry about having to get those that comes with the kit. So here I ran my vacuum line from the distributor cap down around here to my intake, okay, on the left side of this node. When you do that, you have to time your Suzuki to 14. And then on some of these kits, there's a there's a node right here that you could run your distributor cap with a vacuum line to that. And at that point, you, you need to time your Suzuki to 10. Uh, if you need to adjust the throttle on here, here's your throttle cable. And the throttle cable comes in the front, which is nice, because on the old Suzuki, it like wrapped all the way around the back of it but this one shoots straight down in there. If you can see right here, that little piece right there is where you cut your old throttle cable and put this on the end of it and use that. Now as a tip, cause I screwed mine up, I would have another one of these just in case. Cause the only thing that could happen if you screwed up is you get a brand new throttle cable. So that's what I got. But if you need to adjust this, there's two screws that are seven millimeter. When you back these two off, It'll, it'll allow that set screw bolt in the middle to run freely in between, okay? So at that point, then you use an Allen key like this. See that set screw in there? Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the top of that set screw, like so, okay? And then you turn it to the right, you turn it to the right to advance it, and you turn it to the left to do the opposite of that. So once you've timed your Suzuki first, and she's running, then you wanna take this down with like a tactometer. Some people use a tactometer up here, but I have an RPM gauge inside. I like to have mine sitting around 800 to 1000. And then also in this kit, you have to run your own manual choke cable. Okay, so, so I've seen some guy just have this choke cable right here and you pull it. I mean, you could do it that way, but I did mine a little different. So I ran mine and they give you all this to this length um, all the way in here. And I ran it to right here. Okay, so here's my manual choke. And, it, and if you have any problem with your Suzuki cold starting in cold weather, pull this bad boy out, take my keys, pop it in there and boom, right away. So at this point, it's going to run about 1500 RPMs until she's warmed up, okay? At that point, once she's warmed up, you push your, your manual choke back in and it should be right around 800 and she's purring real nice. Okay, so that's what I did for my Suzuki Samurai with that 44 millimeter kit. Remember, if you run your distributor cap vacuum line from there to your intake, it's 14 on the advancement. And if you run it straight to the carburetor, if yours has a port for it, it's at a 10 advancement. On top of all that, make sure you Take your time with your accelerator cable. That accelerator cable kit was a little tricky for me. I, I messed up on it, but in the long run, I got a new throttle cable. So if you have any questions on doing that kit, I can do my best uh, to help you out with that. You just need to put something down in the comment section. Other than that, if I can't figure it out, Low Range definitely has it all ironed out so you can call them. They're located in California. So I'm in, I'm in New York time zone, so they're about three hours behind me. So I try to get everything done before they get up. But that's it for today. I hope you guys have a good time working on your Suzuki and um, that it brings you as much joy as it does for me. But I'm telling you, that, that carburetor is the way to go. Okay, so until next time, peace.